doesn't mean uh, anything more than we're acting in an abundance of caution. As the days get warmer and the snow melts in the High Sierra, concern about how much water will fill the Tulare Lake Basin continues. Since March, Corcoran City Manager Greg Getzka says it's been all hands on deck to create a plan and protect the community. Part of that plan is raising the 14 and a half miles long levee three and a half feet. It's well underway, but it's still only about maybe a quarter, less than a quarter of it completely done. He says there was an important meeting with the Department of Water Resources and Cal OES on Tuesday. They are immediately looking at uh, bringing in erosion control measures uh, to actually fortify the water side of that levee, which is highly important. Within Corcoran City Limits is also a Pacific Gas and Electric Company substation. PG&E is taking action to protect it, even though officials say it has a low risk of being impacted by flood water. We're going to construct an eight-foot barrier out of two layers of HESCO flood, flood barriers. Boyle says he wants to alert residents that just because work will be underway doesn't mean the community is in danger. It doesn't mean uh, anything more than we're acting in an abundance of caution. We want to, we've, we're actively watching the water levels change. We just want to take the steps now to prepare in case the water does come here because once it comes, it's too late. Getzka says if water rises to a certain level, there could be an evacuation order, but until then, residents should not be concerned when they see all of the work underway around them.